So welcome to the bike grind down of my 2024 Factor Ostro van. So the main event, the frame set is the 2023 Factor Ostro van in the beautiful chameleon and greeny blue colorway. So 54 is probably one size below what you might think I'd run for my height. I really like a low stack and a longish reach. So I've gone for 54 because the next size up is a bit too high for me. Onto the cockpit, we've gone for the blacking all-in-one aero handlebar in a size 140 stem with 36 centimeter handlebars. It's nice and narrow, so you can get pretty aero. And like I said, the length is something that I like to have more reach on. So onto the saddle, another one that might be slightly controversial. I've gone for the ISM PN 3.1. Uh, I've been running this saddle for a good few years now. It really works for me. It allows me to get really tilted forward over the bike, nice and aero and stay comfortable. Now you might notice the saddle is slammed right the way back on the rails. This was a poor decision from me going for the inline seat post. Just didn't, didn't have the chance to fully eyeball it to gauge it correctly, but it works for me and it's just about in the range. Onto one of my absolute favorite things about the bike, it's the wheel set. I've gone for the Envy SCS 6.7s, which are obviously incredibly aero. And on the wheels, I've gone for the Schwalbe Pro 1 tires. These are in the 28, which is nice and wide on these, great grip for quartering, and come up to just the right width to fit the wheels perfectly. This means the transition from the tire to the rim is smoother, so the airflow is better, more aero, faster. So I think that works pretty well. Oh. The bottom bracket is surrounding speed, as is the headset, which is the new solid state surrounding speed, which is awesome. Uh, so that should last, well, more than the season, which is more than can be said for a lot of other model brackets. So that's great. For the power meter, I've got the Magine PES P505. It's a uh, spine based crank. Given the amount of zone two rides I do, I'm pretty well calibrated to, you know, plus minus five watts or so. And uh, it feels bang on. So, so far, so good. And the groups that I'm running on this bike is 105 Di2, new for last year, I believe. It's a uh, 12 speed, which is great. So that's a first for me. I've done the first ride today. Everything works pretty well. So that's amazing. And uh, yeah, it's a lot cheaper than Altegra. So I'll take it. So the gearing I'm running on this is a 5236 on the chain rings with an 1134 cassette. Um, I'd like to go bigger on the chain rings, probably a 54. Um, that would be ideal, especially for the fast finishes and going into a sprint. But uh, for now, that's what I've got. So I'm loving the color of this frame set. It's chameleon blue with some awesome holographic accents on the logos. It really pops out and it's just really awesome. So I've been riding this bike for over a month now, probably. Um, it rides really nicely and I do mean it. I've ridden quite a few top end bikes at this point. And the thing that I really love, especially the handlebars, they feel great to sprint on. Uh, the bike does just, it just goes with you. And you're not really feeling like you have to force it either side. Um, so that's something I really like. The geometry is something that I don't think a lot of people focus on, but on this, and they've really hit the nail on my head there too. So yeah, really nice and pretty comfy too. 